Hey guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are popping up some popcorn old fashioned style on the stovetop, y'all. Love it that way. We're gonna make this sweet and buttery homemade caramel sauce, and we are gonna cover this popcorn in this stuff. And we are making homemade caramel popcorn. I love this recipe so much. It's so quick, it's so easy. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, we are going to start by making our popcorn. We're gonna add a little bit of oil into our pot. Make sure you use a nice, large, heavy bottom pot. Next, I'm gonna add in a few little kernels of popcorn. I'm going to let this oil heat up, and whenever the first popcorn pops, that's when I know that my oil is ready. So I'll go, okay, there it go, you see it? There it go. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove this from the heat. I'm going to add the rest of my popcorn kernels. Don't forget to remove the one that has popped so it doesn't burn, okay? Take that right on out. And next, we're gonna return it back to the heat, all right? Put the lid on there, and now it's going to pop. This will not take long at all. I like to vent the lid just a little bit once it starts popping, just so that steam can kind of escape. And you can cheat and use microwave popcorn, air pop popcorn, but I don't know, something about this popcorn made on the stovetop, it just has a whole different energy to it. You know what I'm saying? That little old fashioned vibe that I just really, really like. Okay, so I have to give the pan a little shake a little bit just to get, you know, kind of encourage that popping. And then once it is done, go ahead and dump it in a bigger bowl. Make sure you use a bigger bowl than this. Like, okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove any of the burnt popcorn, any of the kernels. That looks great. So it's time to move on to making our caramel sauce, which is like ridiculously easy. I'm gonna add some butter in a pot. You can use salted or unsalted, really doesn't matter. I'm gonna let this butter melt. And once that butter has melted, I'm gonna throw in my light brown sugar. Dump that in there. That's some packed light brown sugar. Stir this up, that looks wonderful. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in a little bit of corn syrup, light corn syrup. This corn syrup is gonna give our popcorn, our caramel popcorn, that nice shiny, you know, appearance. I love when it has that shininess to it. All right, so I'm gonna stir this up, and next I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt because salt and caramel, mm -hmm, yeah, they belong together. Stir that salt on in there, and now I'm just gonna let this come to a nice, gentle, slow, boil okay it'll simmer a little bit and then it'll come to a nice boil just like this right here go ahead and let that simmer for about two to three to four minutes you know just to get everything nice and caramelized and you know thickened up and stuff that looks perfect just like this it is ready so you want to immediately pour this over your popcorn if your popcorn is hot it coats even better okay even better but just go ahead and pour this on this is why i said use a bigger bowl get a roasting pan get like just something big that you can really really work this caramel because i was struggling i'm using this glass bowl because when i'm doing divas can cook i like to use glass bowls so you guys can see everything but this bowl mm -mm, too small get something really really big that way everything gets so beautifully coated and evenly coated in caramel but you know I did the best I could, I did pretty good. I think it's a nice even coat. So go ahead and place this on your baking pan, lined it with some parchment paper. If it clumps together, it's okay. We're gonna break these up whenever we bake them anyway. Okay, now as you can see, I have two pans because I like mine chewy and my husband and son like their um, caramel popcorn crunchy. So yeah, I always do two pans. If you like your popcorn crunchy, your caramel popcorn crunchy, here is what you do. You wanna preheat that oven to 250 and then you wanna bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes, tossing it occasionally and this will give you the crispiest, crunchiest caramel popcorn ever. Let it cool off and then once it cools off, it'll be nice and crunchy and you can just use your hands to kind of break it up so that it's not in, you know, really big clumps and stuff. But that's pretty much it, homemade caramel popcorn. You will like this stuff way better than that store-bought stuff, honey, let me tell you. And on my blog, you can, um, I'll put some ideas up on how to, you know, customize it adding nuts, chocolate, sprinkles, all that good stuff. But that is it in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos later.